So let's take a look at my storage solution. So this here is my desktop in my dorm. It's running Fedora 28. And I have five hard drives and an SSD I want to make a pool out of. So this pool is going to be used for my VMs. I got a pile of VMs on this system here that I like to run. And just other desktop uses. I have a few games on it, multimedia files. The VMs are the main reason why I want it fast. So I kind of wrote this up for my different desktop uses. So originally I want BTRFS because I have a weird love for BTRFS it seems. And that worked fine, but then I wanted SSD caching because I had an SSD for that. So I look here. This is my main caching options that I see in Linux here. So ZFS has a cache called the Zill, which works fine, but I haven't used um but I wasn't using ZFS, so I can't use that. Um I tried using Bcache, but it just seems to result in issues for me. And then LVM has a cache, which I tried and get it to work, can get it to work. The problem with doing caching of BTRFS RAID is you have to cache every device, which is fine if you have a ton of SSDs, but I don't. So I ended up having a really messy array. So if I look at the next page, this is what it ended up looking like. So my drives had a Lux partition for encryption, and then LVM, and then BTRFS in there, and then on the other drive I had a ton of LVM drives. The problem with this was I had very high writes on the SSD, partially because I'd write back, and I think the other problem was the algorithm just wasn't great, and with 20 gigs of cache per two terabytes, it was always refreshing it, it seems. And that was causing a lot of writes on my SSD, which I prefer, and it also kind of kept speeds low, as it had to write data twice as it was running RAID 10 on every drive, and putting a ton of IOPS on that SSD, and that was almost becoming my limitation for write speeds now, almost more so than the hard drives. Let's look at the different options I had to replace BTRFS and LVM with. So I wanted to go softer RAID as I didn't have a RAID card and I didn't really want to use motherboard RAID because it's known to have issues. So I have MDAM, it's been around for a while, it's a traditional block RAID device. ZFS, which I actually ended up using due to a few advanced features, and then caching options. Um, so I have LVM caching, ZFS, and Bcache. So Bcache I've always had issues with for whatever reason. LVM I was using before and doesn't make sense with ZFS really. So I decided to go with ZFS as their L2 arc. Here's my new disk layout. So I still wanted Lux on all my drives and then I have ZFS in here. And then I have the L2 arc and Zill on the SSD. I don't do too many sync writes but it's nice to have it when it needs it for some random program because it's so much faster than having hard drive do sync writes. And the rest of them are just plain ZFS volumes. So now let's take a look at a few benchmarks. So here's a look at the performance benchmarks using FIO on Linux. This is all of them. So the, the orange bars are ZFS with an L2 arc. The blue bars are BTFS with RAID 10 with an LVM cache. So there is a mixed RAID level because I'm using RAID Z instead of RAID 10 with ZFS. But we see ZFS does a good amount better in the sequential speeds here. And if we look at the next benchmark, which is all the random ones, so you can actually see it better. We can see it does quite a bit better on the um, random reads at low queued ups, which is generally relatively important for things like games and VMs. And at the higher queued ups, it does better at the um, high queued up, slightly larger size test, and it does a lot better on the writes. It does better on the writes because it's using sync writes, and FIO has a zill to use where it's not as good like that on the BTRFS when it comes to sync writes. And there you go. Performance wise, it's mostly better. BTRFS does win in one or two cases, but mostly BTRF ZFS is looking like a good performance option here. And the other thing is, how do you measure real world performance? And the answer is it's pretty hard often because lots of different workloads, different things are sensitive to. I mean, one example here now is let's take a look at my system again. We can see, yeah, it's loading the drives up. I'm doing a lot of I.O. intensive stuff right now. I'm firing up some VMs, those games running. I think a VM is installing in the background. Now, one other interesting thing to look towards is the ZFS I.O. stat. And we can see, yeah, we're writing at about two, a little almost 3,000 IOPS. We're getting a few reads from the um, L2 arc, not as good as I'd like, but it is pulling a bit off of it. I'd say right now it looks like a 20 to 30 percent hit ratio and that's what um, the arc status shows. So thanks for looking at this little storage change and subscribe for more videos like this in the future.